Flippy 2015 NAMM show. I'm here to tell you about my guitars. Uh, this one is my Virtuoso model. It's got a Buckeye Burl to it on the top. And it's got a roasted Equatorial Mahogany back with a roasted bird's eye maple neck. And this one has a Coco Bolo fingerboard. Um, guitars are all handmade, done to um, specs of usually customers the way they want them or what I've recently been used to using. And the one thing about the guitars now, I've been using all this roasted wood, is because I was finding out that the vintage guitar market has been very popular because they're aged guitars. So I started thinking about it and if I got the roasted wood, 0% moisture in it, they become really vintage, even older than a vintage guitar. I was told it could be like up to 300 years old with the aging of the wood. So I use Amalfitano pickups, and I'm using hip shot, bridge, two post tremolo, hip shot tuners, and I use a seven degree tilt on the hip so we don't have any string trees, the guitar returns back to the same tuning. And that's pretty much about that one. This next guitar is another Virtuoso. This has a uh, curly walnut top, um, Cocoa Bolo fingerboard, tortoise shell dots in it. It's got a roasted basswood back, a roasted curly maple neck, and pretty much the same idea, Malfitano pickups, and hip shot bridge and tuners. Um, very sweet tone. Uh, also added, I started doing these little side dots, and they're kind of fluorescent, so you put them up in the light a little bit, then when it gets dark, you can always see your side dots. This next guitar is another Virtuoso. Um, you can find this at the Music Zoo. Uh, this one has a curly maple top with a spalted alder back, and another roasted this one is a quarter sawn curly maple neck, it's roasted, with a roasted Palferro fingerboard. And the, the idea on the necks and all that is to keep that roasted stuff, is to keep it very stable, there's zero percent moisture in them. I also add in a two-way truss rod into these, that way, just in case we have to move them, but they don't seem to congest them too much. Uh, the other thing on them, I've got the five-way super switch in there, Changes the coil switching of the pickups and hip shot bridge and tuners. Um, my neck pocket, uh, my neck joint, I should say, has some brass bars down underneath the fingerboard that are threaded, and then we don't have to screw, we use a metal screw to screw into the brass bars that are in there so there's no. Into, it's not into the wood, it doesn't slip out, it doesn't do any movement. It's a really tight bond and really good for the ring and sustain of the guitar. That's pretty much it, Lippy Guitars.